Hi, welcome to the 16th Unite Indian Ocean and Middle East event at the QE2 Centre with the amazing Westminster Abbey behind us again. This event is huge and it's, it's so popular. We've got 87 suppliers, over 100 buyers, with a total of over 260 people here for the day. They've had an amazing 1,539 meetings and it's a really great buzzy atmosphere in the room. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports this event and the other Unites as well. And to our sponsors for this event, Qatar Tourism, Mauritius Promotion Tourism Authority, Air Mauritius and the Standard Maldives. Thanks again and I look forward to seeing you all again next year. Delighted to be with uh, Selling Travel today and give you a little bit of update about what's going on with Qatar Tourism. I think one of the things we really want to tell agencies, get signed up to our Qatar Specialist Programme. From there, you can get access to all our images, all our videos that you can use on your socials, and then also the training platform, which we're constantly adding to. But the best thing is, is we're constantly running incentives for fan trips, Amazon vouchers, Apple watches, all of that will be available to all agents that have signed up to our, to our platform. Since the World Cup, lots of products has come on stream in Qatar, and I know we did something like 260 fan trip seats last year, so we know a lot of you have experienced it already. But there's more and more product coming on stream, We've got a brand new resort which is called Our Habitat, which is a, an amazing um, luxury resort in, in Doha. It's uh, sorry, just outside of Doha. Um, and and the, the hotels are, are, are really, really wanting your business. You know, they, they want you to send your clients there. You've got to trust that it's a great, great place to send your send your clients. Hi everyone, my name is Laura, and I represent the Mauritius Tourism Promotion Authority here in the UK, and I'm joined by Sanjay. Hi, I'm Sanjay from Air Mauritius. So just to give you a very short update on what's going on in Mauritius, what's going on on the island, we have some lovely new hotel openings on the island um, from Brown de Bombay, um, we have um, Oceans Creek, we have Lutch Bombay which opened last year as well, um, and we have um, the Rui Hotels as well which are opening next year as well. We also have some lovely new refurbishments on the island, so we have um, Lux Belmar, which has literally just reopened. Um, we've got Sands, um, Sweets and Resorts, they've been furbished, um, Hilton um, um, Hotels as well, Maradiva, Tamarina, um, Shangri-La, one and only, will soon be closing as well for refurbishments, so plenty going on. Now over to Sunday. Hi, I'm Sanjay from Air Mauritius. We operate a daily service from London Gatwick North Terminal. We implemented a daily service from the 30th of October, 2023. The service is operated with an Airbus 350, one of the newest members to our fleet. Um, with the daily service, uh, 11 hours 50 flying time, coming between London Gatwick and Mauritius. Direct. Direct, non stop. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Patrick Lan. I am the key account director of the Radisson Blue Resorts in Mauritius and I'm very happy today to give you a little update on our fantastic properties. The first update concerns the beautiful The Nine Golf Course, which is our championship golf course in Radisson Blue Azuri. Uh, the Nine was awarded best par 3 golf course in the world at the World Golf Awards recently. Second update still for the Radisson Blue Azuri. Since beginning of this year, we have a fantastic beachfront villa of 85 square meters, pure luxury with private uh, swimming pool and private garden as well, but for service, of course. Uh, the third update for Radisson Blue Azuri, equally exciting, is the room uplifting of the premium beachfront, which will become, as from 1st of September this year, our beachfront junior suites. And during this uplifting, uh, there will be absolutely no structural works, which means that the hotel will be fully operational. All of the services will be available to our guests. No disturbance whatsoever, as it's only going to concern removing furniture, replacing by new ones and paint, etc. And all these rooms are in a separate wing of the resort as well. Thank you very much. And I look forward to welcoming you in Radisson Blue Mauritius. 
Hi everyone, I'm Ollie and I'm representing the Standard Maudies. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about our property and what's going on at the moment. So we have just launched uh, our Camp Standard activation, which is taking place over the Easter break, where we've got loads of activities from yoga programming, from cinema club, to our baby island takeover, lots happening at the island. Also look out for our kids eat and stay free offer, which should be alive through all uh, operators here in the UK right now. And finally, what can I say? The Standard Maldives is your true lifestyle destination right in the heart of the Maldives and it's something not to miss. Hi, I'm Jean-Marc Flambert from Secrets of Ceylon. Uh, it's a collection of properties in Sri Lanka. We're a new company, we started a year ago. And if you want to learn more, visit the uh, Selling Travel website because we've just had a lovely article uh, written on uh, Steve Hartridge's trip. But um, we are a mid-range uh, collection of properties all over the island. We have 12 properties and they each offer a unique experience. They're all under 10 rooms and they're that kind of mid-price uh, to $250 per night on half board um, so it really gives you a new way to explore Sri Lanka um, visiting uh, places off the beaten track and also getting real authentic experiences uh, we have an office in the UK so if you want to meet in person we'd love to do that too Jamara Maldives is located in North Malay at all and it's a modern contemporary retreat for both couples and families looking for a unique experience in the Maldives with plenty of fun activities from motorsports to diving as well as award-winning restaurants we ensure that you are well taken care of during your uh, retreat to the Maldives so we hope to welcome you soon to the Maldives hi everyone welcome to Jordan wanted to let everyone know that Jordan is waiting for all travelers with open and warm arms and um, just to let you know we wanted everyone to uh, experience uh, our local uh, people, our community and the local experiences that you can have and your travellers can have um, in the kingdom. Things like cooking lessons um, throughout the, the destination, you can do and experience the meaningful travel map uh, that covers the Jordan Trail, 650 kilometres from north to south. Experiences like staying at Bedouin camps, visiting uh, local coffee shops, or just doing a nice cooking lesson in someone's house um, and experiencing a staying in bed and breakfasts. Also, agritourism is something that is really um, beautiful and, and an amazing experience to have. So people can visit farmers and see how um, they harvest their local produce or they can enjoy um, the nature and adventure that um, throughout the destination or simply just the culture and heritage of Jordan's beautiful people. So everyone is welcome and we're waiting for you in Jordan. Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm the director of sales for Europe at the Waldorf Astoria Seychelles, Platte Island, which is our brand new resort just opened in January in the south of the Seychelles. It's a untouched nature property, which we just built and opened, where you will see turtle nest, baby stingrays, baby sharks. We built the resort protecting the nature, protecting this environment, which is known to be the nursery of the Indian Ocean. So come to explore the beautiful untouched nature in the Seychelles to discover more about this beautiful property and amazing one.